Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing safe. In today's topic, I am going to discuss on a Prince 2. What is the 4, 5, 6 of Prince 2? Let's discuss. In today's agenda, I am going to talk about what is Prince 2. What are those 4 integrated elements? What are those five characteristics of project? What are those six variables also called as the performance targets? And last, I also talk about benefits of using Prince2. Let's begin. What is Prince2? Uh, let me share my thoughts. In a nutshell, it's also called a project management method because it has its own specific set of process for starting, managing, finishing a project, as simple as that. These processes, whatever uh, they call it under uh, Prince2 practices, it provides certain guidance for a management team so that they direct, develop or deliver a product from begin to end. What is Prince stands for? It's called projects in controlled environments. It was a like a non-proprietary methodology which was first developed in 1989 by CCTA in UK. They just want to manage certain projects in an information technology environment. That was the first fundo, uh, you know, from CCTA. What does the two stands for? It, it's like, uh, you know, any software which you call or uh, consider, it has its own versions, isn't it? So the two denotes for major revisions for a specific framework which is under, you know, prints. So the first one took place in 1996. Then they started, you know, extending, enhancing the practices and the principles of the methodology and the last revision which was made in 2009. Also, if you closely, uh, you know, understand the Prince 2, which is used very well known, I think almost 100 countries around the world. And the number is still growing up. Because the method was very widely, you know, respected for its own capabilities, right? Because it works for, and it also fits for both large and small scale projects. So if you take any organization which is ranging from, let's say, uh, big brand multinational companies to small startup with bootstrap fundings, any company or any in terms of size, in terms of nature of business, they can add up to a Prince 2. For me, what I understood from my previous uh, practice and experience, Prince 2 is an excellent way to manage a technology oriented projects such as your software development, right? It's not uh, uh, I mean, what I wanted to, you know, address here, it's not meant to or limit to only IT because it can use, uh, you know, for uh, maybe different uh, movies or different large scale uh, supply chain companies. Uh, it could be under merger and acquisitions uh, or it can be also, you know, predominantly uh, uh, widely used in Olympics in 2012, right? So. There are various aspects through which, you know, this methodology can be well adapted in any size of companies. And the reason why the Prince to work so well, it is uh, by, by definition, it has its own efficiency, you know, uh, separates the project management level from its specialist levels. Because it focuses mostly on developing certain process at the management level so that any specialist can do their work more efficiently. So underlying, you know, to the, the, the principles of Prince2, it has its own nature of practices and methodologies, which is very strong by nature, which can adapt by anyone, right? So that was one, one uh, you know, advantage of uh, why most of the companies prefer to use Prince2. And also, you know, it can also uh, make you a more competent, a confident manager who is ready to take a most complicated project in any company, they wanted to, you know, take this as an opportunity to use Prince2 as a methodology to shine. 
so that was the fundamental you know intro about what is prince to all about what are the four integrated elements of prince to so so the fundamental you know these four integrated elements uh, i mean you can call it as a four uh, corners of a house or four legs of a table uh, whatever you can you know consider no matter whether the project is large or small these elements will be so important and the underlying element is an integrated because none of them stands alone all four of them has to work together interact with one another throughout your complete project so what are those you know elements of integrated ones one principles it's all about a kind of a best practices or core values which you uh, as a project manager can follow to ensure the project is being managed properly under your prince to methodology and the second element is talk about themes there are seven certain specific area of project management which are continuously and simultaneously monitored and updated throughout every project the other element of uh, integrated one is called process there are seven steps that has to be carried out in a chronological order starting with the beginning of the project and ending you know with its own closure phase so we are going to talk about what are those you know processes uh, you know with uh, seven uh, steps of those you know aspects the last integrated element is towards how do we tailor ourselves to the environment because it's applicable for any project it has to be tailored to fit your project's type and size right so these are all fun- certainly fundamentally uh, aspects uh, these elements has to be work together interact with one another throughout the complete project but why do we need projects right because today an organization they has to talk about always consistency uh, change innovation business as usual there's a lot of terminology which keeps going on all right so users need a change constantly uh, whether it is a product or a service they are always expect to be available always with them right it's it's always a constant battle to preserve your customers loyalty always so at the same time the world is changing at the speed of its own pace and every organization that don't keep up with innovation and technology uh, otherwise you know what happens they will be left behind the competition even though if you have a good product or a service that people love right so in the prince to every projects or the the way the organization change and adapt to their constantly shifting every environment a project is always a change right at the other aspect of business as usual it's it's also a part of your organization that stays consistent and meets always expectations of your customers it could be your profitability or loyalty brand or reputation and excellence in service there is lot of aspects right so every successful organization they want to find a way to balance managing change with managing business as usual and also how do we ensure that you know we will uh, uh, manage the end to end change within the you know complete end to end of every project what are the five characteristics of a project let me repeat uh, i already spoke about uh, what is prince to mainly intended for managing projects not the day to day operations right so what i wanted to you know uh, share my thoughts around here is that it's important to know how to tell the difference between these two but in the in the, in the real world it's not always as a simple decisions sometimes what happens we have a small number of tasks such as maybe changing a small font or uh, for our company's logo on its you know website these are not like really projects right these are all small small operations or a, a tasks so using the prince to if you wanted to carry them out you need to have uh, you know different aspects all together for example changing the way your sales uh, you know uh, uh, teams you know the way they monitor currently we uh, doing everything manually has to be transitions towards you know web based sales model using uh, any you know crm tool that clearly shows as a project right so 
so don't confuse you know these uh, terms uh, you know within your uh, the way you do day and day out of managing you know your projects so what are all those characteristics one change prince to it always looks every project as a pathway to change because if a task will introduce noticeable change within your organization it is likely to be a project to it's a temporary so every project has its own clearly defined life span whether it is a beginning uh, from your business case to move forward with your approval from the stakeholders and ending the you know delivering the better product or a result which is like a temporary right because a maintenance and a minor updates are not part of the project but this is all you know part of you know any project is a temporary three it's a cross functional because more than one person or department will be affected by your project so it's important to pull all together cross functional team for different aspects different areas of your company to serve the purpose of you know your project the fourth it's a unique every project has its own unique set of characteristics that's how you will you know get to manage isn't it so there are repetitive tasks that are done on the same way repeatedly those are not unique or not considered as a projects right it has to has its own unique the last one is uncertainty so in a project what happens there are just enough variables that is impossible to predict everything about the outcome with 100% certainty it's very very difficult right because you need to also understand when the uncertainty happens it's always produce a risk so using these five characteristics you can understand you know any project when you fall under prince 2 as a methodology so it's a temporary organization that is created for the purpose of delivering one or more business products according to your business case right so this is what Uh, usually call as a project and these are the five characteristics of any project so so far you understand the characteristics of a project let's discuss on what are those six variables which also we call it as a performance targets understand one thing prince to is a structured method for controlling the outcome of your project so you need to define these six variables which are common to any project no matter what type so that's why it also called as a performance targets because if a performance falls short of the goal for any one of these six targets the project will have its own poor outcome so what happens as a project manager you must constantly monitor all six of them at once throughout the end of you know the complete uh, you know project uh, which is going to be taken up by you So what are those six variables of any project? One costs. So every project has a budget, but the budget can vary either up or down. So you as a project manager has to detect what is the cost to overruns as early as possible. And two time. Ideally what happens every project should be finished before the deadlines. That's not always the case, right? the sooner the project manager identifies a delay the less inconvenient or uh, costly it will be so time is very important three its scope all stakeholders in the project should know what is expected to be uh, you know in the project and what has been defined in the business case and what is included what is not included so you as a project manager has to uh, you know always avoid scope creep which is an extension of every project's boundaries beyond its defined scope so be clear on scope four quality prince to what happens by definition it will mostly focus on the quality by the products which is suitable for what is the purpose that you are talking about to serve right any signs of these potential shortfall in your quality which has to be addressed right away by your project managers and five benefits Yes, it's all about you know return on investment. What has been defined in your business case? What is the overall purpose of the project? And how do we ability to deliver this ROI? So you as a project manager thoroughly understand the purpose and regularly revalidate you know what is the ROI all about. The sixth one, which is the last one about risk, uncertainty always produces some level of risks, right? Because 
without risk i think you 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 don't even have the lot of ownership and responsible to see the outcome of the project so you need to determine what level of risk is acceptable to your stakeholders and then build a strategy to reduce those risks so that's very important these six variables will help to drive any project understand one thing what is the role of the project manager in prince 2 so the project manager plays very leadership role under prince 2 because a successful project management begins with understanding the benefit of your project what i just talk about those six variables you need to really understand the overall purpose of the project and you need to prepare yourself to make decisions to carry out you know what is the value add that you are talking about as a project right so planning is one of the project managers first you know its own job all the tasks activities has to be complete the project must be mapped you know into your project plan and see whether they are falling in the place right if one or more you know activities are you know overlapping you need to be you know very clearly defined in your project plan then also delegation so as a project manager you need to know how to delegate any uh, task you know which has to be your team or a specialist who are managing the part of your project right because the 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 underlying you know uh, hidden uh, crux of you know success for your project is a delegation but you need to very well manage you know this delegation when you assign to your teams once uh, you know as a project manager you define that then you need to constantly monitor the results of the work ensure that it has to match your project plan right so these six variables whatever i just told you has to make sure that you know these are within the boundaries of your project's you know purpose and if the project deviates from your project plan you need to decide whether how do we handle these issues or how do we declare as an exception how do we take it up with you know stakeholders so all those things you know you need to uh, be clear and you must escalate those issues to your next level of you know stakeholders for you know a resolution and you know other aspects the other thing is time and cost these are also very important you need to constantly monitoring these two to ensure that you know you need to deliver the product in less time or a lower cost which has to be implemented you know on the fly what are the benefits of using prince to then as i mentioned the benefits of you know prince to are practically unlimited because i think you need to experience and start using that prince to methodology uh, you know in your projects for me let me explain some of the benefits one it has its own broad applicability because it's uh, it's meant for any type of project as i mentioned earlier and also it has its own common language because you use the vocabulary or methodology you know in different nature of environments i think you need to know what is those common language all about and other benefit is all about product focused because you are expecting the outcome of the product and the kind of quality standards you are using to validate those things that is another you know benefit by using you know prince to the other one is easy of integration because you are talking about you know lot of industries use different project management you know models uh, you know it's very easy to you know integrate and uh, whether it will be same industry or different line of industry the other benefits is it has its own clearly defined roles right that is very important and also it has a continuous monitoring uh and uh, there is something also another benefit for a management by exception because it provides a framework for escalating problems which commonly you know we use as a uh, you know exceptions for next level of management when they exceed certain tolerance right and other benefits is it's a worldwide adoption and training because there is a lot of resources you can uh, get leveraged and used for your learning you know under prince 2 as a framework so these are all some of the benefits you know when you are using a prince to just to conclude my final thoughts around for today's agenda yes prince to mainly aims at improving your organization or management or controlling the projects from beginning to end it's one of the excellent framework methodology which you can go and adapt it 
and every industry whether it will be people or organizations whether it in the same sector or a different sector line of business it's so flexible that all the projects you can easily manage whether it is regardless of any of type or a scale which is another advantage if you go with prince too i hope this helps to get a you know high level view on what is prince too what are the different characteristics what are those principles uh you know about prince too right uh i hope this helps so please like and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for your time thanks for listening and thank you